Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in today. Wanted to address how I attached uh, my chest armor to the flak vest of my Mandalorian costume. I had a few questions about this, as well as how to attach the cape. This is the way I did it, um, and it's, it's fairly simple. So what I did was I put the vest on, and then I used, you can use pen, light pencil or chalk, and just make a faint outline around the edge, the perimeter of the armor. Now you can use masking tape as well too, anything. And then what you wanna do, <clears throat> is make a mark inwards about half an inch from where that initial mark was. And then that's basically the inner perimeter of where you're gonna attach your Velcro. Now I prefer to sew, uh, this is non-adhesive loop Velcro, and that's what I prefer to sew onto the soft garment. Um, I don't like to glue uh, Velcro to things that are gonna be washed. It's just, I don't think it's a very good idea. It's not that great for durability or long-term washing. So. Sewing it on is the best. So that's what you do. You can sew it along the perimeter. Um, and then for the other side of the armor, what I do is I'll sand. This is the most rock solid way to do this. I've done this on tons of shows that I've worked on. Um, anytime I need to attach armor. Uh, I sand the inside of the armor and then I spread um, some generous beads of E6000 glue around the perimeter and whatever parts you want to glue down. And then you basically let it tack up, basically let it sit there for a few minutes. And then you want to press down um, adhesive uh, hook Velcro. Now, before I do that, I'll actually heat up the underside of the hook Velcro with a heat gun um, or blast it with a, a quick uh, butane torch just really quickly. What that does is it softens the adhesive of the Velcro. And then when you press it on and make sure you, you really you know, rub it down so it's nice and solid, um, it's gonna bond on there. And basically I leave it for a few hours you know, ideally overnight, and it's rock solid. I've never had any failures um, using Velcro in this in this manner. Now you can use snaps and stuff like that if you like, but the advantage I find when you have Velcro is that you can then um, adjust it. So you know, when you when you dress yourself, you're gonna find okay, you move around a little bit, and you you know you see this in people's photos and stuff is like their stuff shifts or it moves around, and you'd be like, oh geez, I really wish I could have moved that up like half an inch. Well, if you have snaps that are on there, it's you're not really going to be able to move those. So I actually prefer to do it this way. If you realize then that like, okay, I do want this half inch higher and you want to integrate snaps or something at that point, you can do that, right? But at least with the Velcro, it gives you an opportunity to maneuver your pieces around. Now, uh, my chest armor um, is actually two pieces, okay? And even with its pre-Beskar or Beskar, it's generally two pieces and I like to keep them separated either Velcroed to the soft garment separately or straps attaching them so that there's a little bit of movement, right? You wanna be able to twist your body, you wanna be able to bend forward without um, snapping the pieces, right? So I prefer to have them like slightly overlapped and just a bit of movement. In terms of the cape attachment, what I did was um, I have Velcro on the bottom of the cape. Now there's a special order in the way that I do this, okay? Normally you want loop Velcro on the soft garment so that when you wash it, it doesn't get attached to other pieces. You leave the hook side um, on the plastic or the armor parts. For the cape, what I did was I actually sewed a piece of um, hook Velcro onto the garment, and then on the underside of this cape edge, I did all my fancy pleating and all that kind of stuff, and then I basically sewed it together. I took this uh, loop piece of Velcro and folded it over the edge, and then that way what happens is you can attach the cape to the top of the vest, like that. And then because there is now already loop here, it's basically loop Velcro all the way around and you've got hook Velcro on the other side of the armor. So now you just align it and press it down. And basically what happens is kind of creates what I call like a Velcro sandwich up there, right? You're gonna go uh, loop, sorry, at the top of the underside of the cape, it's gonna be like hook, loop here, loop here, and then hook on the armor. And it basically goes on and I've not had an issue of it coming off. I, the only time I had an issue with it coming off was um, I was doing this like fan film shoot and I had started taking the armor off and I had actually taken the chest off and then someone said, oh, can I get a photo with you? And I had to put it back on with my helmet on and I couldn't see and I just put it back on crooked. But like, you know, normally if you're checking yourself in a mirror or you have somebody helping you get dressed, it's not a problem. So that's the way that I attach the cape. Um, I feel that that's a very secure way to do it. And, you know, once it's, once it's attached on here, 
It also prevents the cape from moving back and forth or up or down. So it just keeps this nice pleated shape um, in place and um, you know makes your stuff look nice. So I hope that helps you out. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.